that's going to be that's going to be something. That's going to be a race. It's going to be an eight boat race. Same time. Hello YouTubers, we've made it to another day where we get to transport the Lamborghini name yet to be determined behind me somewhere else than Strathclyde Park to go do some racing. Absolutely fantastic, but this time the Lamborghini name yet to be determined is not on the Yam Drover, it's on the, the Tom Drover. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very inventive. And Yam's here as well, isn't that right Yam? We've got some lovely driving to do this weekend so that we can get... Oh, so that you can get down south to race at the Metropolitan Regatta and have some fun racing when the opportunities to do so are available. So follow me on the journey and Yam, Yam will not be here for the whole journey. On our way down south, on the water, at Dorney Lake where the Olympics in 2012 were held and anything in between. Oh yeah! And we've made it into the Yam Drover without the Lamborghini name yet to be determined on the roof as it's already in the Tom Drover down south at Dorney Lake. So today we're travelling down on this absolutely gorgeous day today. Hopefully the weather stays nice. The weather is predicted to stay pretty calm, a little bit colder but not too bad at all and have the opportunity to get some flat water. But as always, rowing is a rowing sport. Rowing requires water. The water is what we row on and the conditions, we have to deal with them, whatever they are. But when they are flat, it makes it a lot nicer. So we've got a little bit of preparation. We've got the portable ball when you're in a vehicle or traveling for a long time, very important. We've got some food preparated, some dejeuners, tuna sandwiches, perfect. So we're not stopping off perhaps at some places one spending loads of money on random food and so this will be better food as well so i've got some malt loaf some fruit some some veg and obviously some hydration because hydration is also important as is food because remember food is fuel so we're going to get ready last final checks make sure, make sure i have everything and then we're going to get Dance. I mean, I'll see you after the racing. Oh, yeah. Okay, we've made it to a motorway services for a lovely little bit of a stretch in the car park. It's very important to keep the body moving on a long travel day. Okay, now that we've stretched, it's time to continue the journey. staying for the weekend for the Metropolitan Regatta. So the rest of the night, feeling up, stretching out, moving, but not moving too much, just relaxing, making sure the body is ready for tomorrow for another opportunity to go as fast as we can for, well, the first one is a time trial, so that'll be 1900 meters. And then the second one will be a final, seeded by the time trial, 2000 meters. So preparation tonight, nice and chilled, fueled up plenty. Because remember, food is fuel, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And we have made it to Dorney Lake for our race here at Dorney Lake. Firstly, we've got the time trial after a lovely rest last night and this morning. The times of the races are actually quite late, later than usual in the day, so a 2.49pm time trial, and then 
depending on what's final, between 6.04 and 6.24. So quite a big day, but it's like rowing is a rowing sport. And even with the water being a slight tailwind rather than a slight crosswind that was predicted, we have to deal with the times and the schedule that is also given, just like we have to deal with the conditions. So just preparing, rigging the boat. So let's get to it. And we have the Yamborghini name yet to be determined rigged up. We've got the course over there. The eights just went by and they've done their time trial. So it's exciting to watch the big boats go and play while we're about to get the small boats on. It's actually less time than I thought till we actually race. So it's 1.43 right now. We're gonna have a little bit of a longer warm up pre time trial because I've been doing a lot of driving and we weren't able to get on the water yesterday because of the driving and later in the day today so not be able to get on the water this morning because of all the racing going on on the water. So chilling out for maybe 10-15 minutes, a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a roll, then we're going to get the Lamborghini name yet to be determined on the water and we're going to get to the time trial itself which is another opportunity to, for me to see if I can better the last experience in the time trial. I've been having a little bit of issues with the time trial and what's better way to try and get better than practice the things you're not so great at. So let's see how we get on Yam Squad. And we've made it off the water after the time trial and as has become tradition over the last few racing videos I've been having a little bit of a chat of how I think the, the time trial of the race went before I find out the results. So the Lamborghini name yet to be determined performed well stayed afloat through the entire race so thumbs up there the time trial there itself. So like I said before I was on the water I wanted to try and improve on my weaknesses or I, what I feel like my weaknesses are, which is the time trial as a whole. So trying to be really consistent and power through the whole time trial, which I think I did. What I think was an issue in this time trial, and in hindsight, probably an issue for the other time trials, is going off the start, not necessarily settling into the right pace, but settling into the right technique, the right rhythm. So going off the start, not necessarily too tense or too, too not relaxed, but more going off of the start and building up into a rhythm that is too far away from the rhythm I want to build into. So on the next time trial or the next race or whatever opportunity will be on the water next is 
when I do go off to start, yes, I want to see a fast speed, but I want to see a fast speed in the same rhythm, the same technique as I will be for the rest of the, the piece. So I don't want to be doing a sort of very different rhythm for the first couple of hundred and then something really different in the next couple of hundred. I want to be doing something that's basically the middle technique rhythm, but sped up. So I should be going faster off the start, but it shouldn't look that drastically different than in the middle, if that makes sense. So as always, it's a learning opportunity to be out here and having the opportunity to race at all and fantastic to, to be able to do it. And as per usual as well, just one race, you can learn much more under a high pressure environment than you can over multiple weeks of training. So that's really good too. So I'm getting my bang for the buck, if it were, just doing 1900 meters and learning a good big lesson rather than having to try and learn that lesson over a longer period of time. So I'll wait around, get some walking done, eat some fuel because remember food is fuel. And then after a race, what I find really helpful is quick sugars, like I've said before. So I've had a banana, some, some energy drink in the UK, Lucasade, just a little bit of carb drink, um, some Gatorade, some other brands, Powerade, other brands are available. But it's just to sort of, especially in these hot conditions, it may be a bit cloudy here, but I've got protecting my head, my head feels a bit hot, so making sure I've got my sun cream and everything on and making sure I'm staying hydrated because it can be quite easy to fuel up and get enough food in, but not hydrate enough either and then they both sort of don't work together. So making sure you're hydrated, making sure you're fueled, making sure that yes, you might be a bit tired after a race, but still you have to move a little bit to get sort of legs moving, the body moving. So I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and I'll let you know what the results are when I find out. And I haven't moved very far at all because here at the Metropolitan Regatta, the results are out pretty quick. So I've ended up, let me just make sure I get this right. I've got the, it's on my phone. The results. So I've ended up fourth in the time trial um, and that's behind three Twickenham Rowing Club members and I believe they're all on start, on the start program and then it was me in fourth place so the times so was 1900 meters, 655.3 then 0.9 seconds, another point one second, one second and then four seconds to the first place so seven seconds behind first place one then two between second and fourth so that's going to be an interesting final well an a final so that's what i wanted to do get into the a final and then see how we get on there and it's going to be really interesting because the person i'm not going to say his name because i haven't asked him permission but the person that we'll be racing against in first place um he has been raced i raced against him at the start program in the few videos ago and also raced against him in trials first trial and he beat me at trials but I beat him on at start camp but he was rate capped heavily and I pretty much wasn't so it's going to be really interesting again it's it's the opportunity like I said in the last trial with uh, Mr. Matthew Brigham I raced him a couple of times and it's really good to be able to race the same people multiple times to see how you can com compare to those people. And also it's just, you get to kind of meet people rep on the, repetitively again and again, rather than just sort of unknown faces. You get to recognize people and say, oh, hello, how are you doing? How's it going, etc. You build, build relationships rather than just sort of those random faces, which is always just makes regattas that little bit more fun as well. And now I'm gonna continue warming down. I'm actually gonna get up this time. And then I'm gonna come back to the Lamborghini name yet to be determined. And then we're gonna get onto the water for the A final, which I'm not sure if I mentioned that earlier. I did mention earlier. So the final is going to be at 624? 624. That's gonna be something. Oh, and there's, there's eight people per final. Oh, that's gonna be that's going to be something. That's going to be a race. It's going to be an eight boat race at 6.24 in the evening. Okay, let's get to it. Yeah! 
was some of the eights here at the Met Regatta going down the course and what a difference between the eights and the single. Many different differences but obviously you can just hear the difference. Not only in the boats but there's more people in the boats giving it some hoo-ha. There's a cox shouting at the athletes in the boat and then generally since you've got more people in the boat you've got more people that know more people on the back so you've got people cheering as well especially so in a in the final today, in the single, there's going to be eight people in the race. But in this race, or in the, in the eights races, you've got nine athletes per boat, you've got eight lanes, you've got 72 athletes careering down the course. So it's a big, big difference. And I do miss, do miss racing the eight versus the single. They're both two very different beasts. So I, I recommend trying to get in both if you can. But now it's time to get the Lamborghini name yet to be determined on the water and get rowing for my final. Oh, yeah. And we've finished the racing. I'll pick up my stuff. The Lamborghini name yet to be determined is on the vehicle, on the Tom Drover. Thanks to Tom, coach, there. And Kat there as well. She was racing yesterday. And it went well. Again, quite a stark difference between the side-by-side -side and the time trial. This time, fortunately, since the, my coach, Tom, wasn't on in one place doing timings or whatnot, he was able to follow the whole race so he could see the differences between the time trial and side-by-side -side racing. Uh, so we're gonna sort of, one second. So we're gonna work on some things that he saw, which is great to have things to work on after a successful regatta. And it's interesting over the past few races we've had driving, even though you might think, oh, driving down all this way six seven eight hours 
multiple times. This is almost there's three or four, three out of the four weekends, last four weekends. Been driving a lot, but I've been really enjoying the opportunity to do so. Get out on the water and give it some serious yam. That one, that race there, I managed to hit my highest heart rate I've seen in a long time. Thank you to the guys on the course there in the race. Wouldn't have been able to push without them. And obviously, what a great opportunity to get on this gorgeous, gorgeous lake, especially on the, in the weather that we have today. Very warm, especially compared to up in home in Scotland. Maybe 10, 15 degrees different, but great, great opportunity to get out there, give it some yam and see how I get on. And like I said, before the race, gives me an opportunity. So I've raced more than three plus of these guys previously. So I, I can see how I do compared to them and out raced the, so time trial came fourth. I won the, won the, the race there. So the bug on the lens won there. So I outranked a time trial place. So good in the respect of it looks quite good. Oh, you outranked that, but bad in the, the way of, I shouldn't need to depend on side-by-side -side racing. I need to figure out what's happening in the time trial. But that will be it for today's episode with a lovely, lovely backdrop. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think of sort of the regatta following through episodes. I've really been enjoying filming them. And going forward, I've got a lot of driving to do in preparation for the ambulance, which I'll let you know about. But that's for another video, Yam Squad. So make sure you are subscribed for that. And as always, remember to hit that subscribe button. If you aren't subscribed, Hit that like button if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next episode. Hi! And that is not the end of the video, after all. This is the end of the video. We get to see the silver medal you get for winning championship skulls here at Met Regatta. Usually, you get a big old cup that you get to hold and take pictures with. Looks like this. But unfortunately, that's not happening under these conditions that we have going on through the world. But what an amazing evening we have tonight. Thank you very much if you've made it this far in the video. Really, really appreciate all of your support, Yam Squad. Up to winning the Met Regatta and winning the London Cup of Championship Skulls and this wonderful silver medal here. Amazing. It's really, it's actually, this is awesome. And so I need to make a thing, thing for the, the Yam Squad HQ and perhaps put it in the Yambulance, but we will see. And that will finally be it for the video. And I will see you in the next episode.